Hi, I'm Rosabella Beauty. I go to Ever After High, where I'm roommates with Darling Charming. On the surface, my roommate appears to be the most perfect, prim, and proper princess. In fact, did you know that when she wakes up in the morning, her hair arranges itself into an immaculate hairstyle? She couldn't mess it up if she wanted to. Oh, hello, I'm Darling Charming. What am I doing? Oh, I'm waiting. It's my throne work assignment for damsel in distressing class. I have to wait for an hour. That means no talking and no sleeping and no reading. Sigh. Darling gets love letters and marriage proposals and presents all the time from her many admirers. One comes in almost every minute. Ow! See what I mean? But the thing is, my roommate has a secret that she's not yet ready to share with the rest of the world. Not even me. She doesn't know that I know her secret. You know, I'm the daughter of Beauty and the Beast, which means I can see people's true natures. And I know that Darling's true nature is to be heroic and courageous and brave. A knight in shining armor. Why else does she have a sword collection? What princess has a sword collection? And what prim and proper princess reads magical creatures versus dragons? Hi everyone, it's Dolls, Toys, and Games Gal, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you don't think that my little skit was too silly. I just couldn't resist because I just finished making a dorm room for Darling Charming and Rosabella Beauty and just wanted to have a little fun. In this video, I'm going to show you what I did and then do some shout outs and ask for your opinion. The first step in making a dorm room is making their beds. And I had already made and remade both of their beds. If you want to see how I did those, check out the Darling Charming doll bed remake and Rosabella Beauty doll bed remake videos. So the shelves that I'm using are these large open cubes from hayneedle.com. I like these because they're wide and they're tall. Uh, tall enough to accommodate dolls standing on their stands. The next step is to choose their flooring. And for Darling, I chose this sparkly silver paper. And then I used an Elmer's glue stick to attach it to Darling's side of the room. For Rosabella's side of the room, I wanted to use this sparkly gold paper as her flooring. And using the same glue stick, I glued it to her half of the room. Next, for Darling's wallpaper, I chose this beautiful sparkly silver on light blue background paper, and I used double-sided tape to attach it to her half of the room. For Rosabella's side of the room, I really like this scrapbook paper with roses on a gold background. And using double-sided tape, I also attached that to Rosabella's half of the room. You can see there's a little empty one inch or so margin on the top and bottom. So I decided that I wanted to create a unifying look. So I chose a silver mesh ribbon and a gold ribbon to lay on top of that. So first I hot glued the silver mesh ribbon to the top margin and then the gold ribbon on top of the silver mesh ribbon. Problem was I then ran out of the gold ribbon. So for the bottom margin, I took the silver mesh ribbon and, and kind of wove through um, three, golden, three gold ribbons that were a lot thinner and put those across the bottom of the room. And I think that has a unifying effect on this room because now each side of the room has both silver and gold on it. And then I decided, of course, to make windows for each of them. So using Mayberry Street brand windows. For Rosabella Beauty, I painted hers brown, traced around it on the Tricaslon box so that it looks like she has trees right outside her window. Then I affixed the window to the wall using hot glue. And then for her curtains, I'm using a dowel rod and two finial caps and painting them brown. And I found this amazing fabric from Joanne Fabrics. I wish I had found this actually when I was first making her bed because I think it's perfect. And I used those to make curtains by hot gluing two pieces around the brown rod. And then I found this amazing thing called spare parts with tassels on it at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna be using the brown tassels, the brown leather tassels to pull apart the curtains. And then I hot glued the curtains to her wall above her window. 
For Rosabella's nightstand, I found this paper mache book box at Hobby Lobby and I painted it brown and then I'm also going to use this stencil to create a rose design on it and this is a rose border stencil from Hobby Lobby. And this is what I came up with for her bedside table. To decorate her bedside table I'm using one of these planters filled with roses from my garden friends. And now moving on to Darling's side of the room, I found this uh, treasure chest that I thought would look really nice as a princess's trunk. And I painted it baby blue and baby pink on the outside and the inside. For Darling's window, I took another window frame, painted it pink, and used another piece of the Tricastlon box as the background. And I hot glued it to her side of the wall. For her curtain, I'm going to be using this transparent blue fabric and edge it with a decorative lace trim. And I'm only going to need this one panel and I'll show you why. But I'm also going to use this silver tassel to hold it apart and this is going to be the curtain panel. I'm going to hang it in front of her window because every time she steps in front of the window, someone throws a marriage proposal at her. So as you can see, I have to angle Darling's bed because do you see how the top of the headboard scrapes against the ceiling? This is the only way that the bed fits onto her shelf and it was a mistake I had made while making her bed. To liven up the one side of the wall, I decided to take cutouts from their doll boxes and put them onto a rectangle and put a frame around it so that I could make like a picture of them. Painted the frame silver and edged it with some sparkly bling and some gold stones because it has to be silver and gold. And then I hot glued that to where Darling's wall meets Rosabella's wall to try to soften that hard edge between the two wallpapers. So that's how the room looks. And then the carpet you saw earlier is also from Mayberry Street. Um, that's the carpet that is in the middle of the floor. And the parcels and the letters you saw are also um, dollhouse miniatures from Mayberry Street. And then I decided to make Darling Charming a mirror using a night party cutout and these oval shaped mirrors and I edged the mirror with a sparkly bling and um, hot glued a silver rose to the top center of it, which is kind of her emblem. And then here are the miniature swords that I put inside her trunk. And here are the, um, here's the miniature garden accents containing two swords and the magical creatures book. Oh, in Rosabella's nightstand, it doubles as a bookshelf. So I've put the Ever After High Legacy Day books in there, but I've got to fill it up with more dollhouse books. Okay, so this was the before of their dorm room, and this is the after. Do you guys like it? I hope you do, and I hope you'll let me know in the comments below what you think. So here's the darling side of the room. And now let's take a look at Rosabella's side of the room. My daughter came in this morning and she was so happy and so excited. She couldn't wait to start playing with them. So now let's do some shout outs to Blackberry Milky Way and Cookies for Life. And for all the rest of you, thank you so much for watching my videos and my channel. I really appreciate it.